Our confusion tour continues. For animal lovers, we managed to find the Southwick Zoo, not where it ought to be. And we make another stop for baseball fans. But first, Ted turns us in the right direction for a summer soak. A quick quiz to test your state park smarts. In which Massachusetts town will you find the Willard Brook State Forest? Is it Ashby or is it Granby? And don't go confusing your Granbys with your Granvilles. Granville is the little town west of Springfield that features that general store with the great cheese. But just to complicate things further, a few miles from Granville is Granby, Connecticut. And while we're in the neighborhood, nearby is the Southwick Jog, that curious cartographic carbuncle attached to the Bay State's otherwise straight southern border. Selectman Russ Fox says, don't come to Southwick looking for Southwick's zoo. And, and, and miss the fact that it's in Menden. Correct. And you should see the look on their face when we tell them, well, you missed it about an hour back. So head back towards Boston and visit the zoo. OK, now that you've got a handle on Medfield, Medway, and Medford, you might just be ready for some next level confusion. Millbury, Milford, and Millville. Our quick run of the mills begins down near Rhode Island, where Millville sits at the southern end of the Bay State's Blackstone River Valley. This tiny town's most unusual feature, the mysterious Eudor Tower, though some have speculated it was a Norse lookout post, turns out it just had a cistern in it for water storage. Up in Mill Ford, another towering oddity. This is the Irish Round Tower, located in St. Mary's Church, Milford, Mass. Anne LaMontagne tells us the Milford Tower is modeled after similar structures in Ireland. It was supposedly the only Irish Round Tower in America. Round towers were constructed in Ireland to protect sacred manuscripts from marauding Vikings. There are no Vikings in Milford. This is strictly a commemorative thing. If the towers of Milford and Millville have you a bit mixed up, we come back to Earth in Millbury at the northern end of the Blackstone River Valley Historical Corridor. Just south of Worcester, Millbury is the hometown of former Major League pitcher and TV broadcaster Ron Darling. Coincidentally, baseball's also on deck at Millbury's SND Spinning Mill. He made Garen for Major League Baseball. All the baseballs. All the baseballs. Whoa! The S&D spinning mill dates back to the mid-1700s, oh. making it one of the oldest operating mills in the country. One reason it's still in the game? The major leagues use a ton of balls. The average life of a ball in a major league game is four pitches. That's it. Rawlings manufactures between one and a half and two million balls a year. <laughs> John Dernley tells us his mill supplies Rawlings with four of the five yarns used in every single Major League Baseball. Each will contain 330 yards of yarn. No wonder you guys are going 24-7. Yeah, I, I've been doing this for 10 years and I'm still like, oh my God, it's just unbelievable how much yarn they use. It's really incredible. You know, to see 60,000 pounds coming out of here a month. Major League Baseballs are assembled and stitched in Costa Rica. Of the millions of pounds of yarn S&D supplies, the company proudly says their yarn has never been the cause of a defective ball. Next, it's worth a lot of money, even though it resembles an aging football player. <laughs> 